that is duties okay let us learn about the meaning of fundamental rights fundamental rights are the basic rights given to an individual by the constitution for his or her development fundamental rights are the basic rights rights are the authority given to the citizen they are the basic rights given to a individual individual means each and every indian citizen they are given to each and every indian citizen by the constitution for his or her development for the development of citizen they have given the basic rights by the constitution fundamental rights are inspired by the us by the constitution of usa bill of rights in usa for fundamental rights they call it as bill of rights commonly it is called as the basic rights in our india we call it as fundamental rights fundamental rights are inspired by the constitution of usa the fundamental rights the main object of the fundamental right is to secure is to secure political freedom of the people political freedom of the people and social and economic are secured by the them uh, secured by the directive principle of the state policy so fundamental rights are set in part 3 part 3 of article 12 to 35 in the constitution fundamental rights are set up in the part 3 of article 12 to 35 in the constitution fundamental as you know our constitution our indian constitution has given six fundamental rights now we will discuss one by one those fundamental rights are right to equality right to equality in that right all are equal before the law nobody is above the law and all deserve equal protection these aspects are included in right to equality that that means rules and regulations are same or equal for each and every indian citizen in this right it cannot restrict it cannot restrict any one to enter shops hotels and recreational places it also cannot restrict right to equality equality means it cannot restrict by using public tanks wells roads and public places all citizens are equal for entering the government services it cannot forbid any one from entering holy places and offer prayers all are equal so right to equality says all are equal no one is above the law 
all are equal before the law next right to freedom right to freedom each and every citizen is free to speak and express views has a free citizen of the country Their religion in their own 
aspect by their own choice. Next one is cultural and educational right. This right, this fundamental right protects cultural and educational interest of the minorities. Minorities or a group of people in less number. Right. Here, people have the right to protect their language, script or culture. They can protect, they pro they can protect the culture or script or their language. The minorities have the right to establish educational institutions. The educational institutions of the minorities should follow rules of stipulated by the government. The minorities should follow the rules stipulated by the stip stipulated means to specify means rules specified or set out by the government. The rules set out by the government should be followed by the minorities. So, India here we will know about that India not only our India not only helps to protect the interest of major majority population and uh, but also minorities of the country. Next one is right to constitutional remedies. Right to constitutional remedies. Here, the a citizen, a citizen can approach or appeal in the court of law in the court of law in case any fundamental rights is denied citizen can move to high court or supreme court when the fundamental rights is denied Right to constitutional remedies says that judiciary is there to rectify in case of violation. The state and the central government should not pass any law that curbs the fundamental principles. Judiciary acts as the guardian of the fundamental rights. So, here right to constitutional remedies means people can move to high court or supreme court in case of any fundamental rights is denied. Okay. These are the fundamental six fundamental rights given by the constitution for the citizens. Next, we will see the fundamental duties. As we enjoy the fundamental rights, we will see our responsibility towards the country. Next one is fundamental duties. Fundamental duties are our responsibility towards the country. That is the duty. So, here first it was only in the constitution fundamental rights was set up. Not the fundamental duties. In the 42nd amendment act in 1976 by the recommendation of Sarda Swaran Singh Committee. The fundamental duties were set up in the constitution by the Sarda Swaran Singh Committee by the recommendation of 
in strikes or bun people will throw stones on buses government buses and government offices they will damage so many of the public properties so we should not do like that because it is burden for us only it has been paid tax to the government the government has given so many facilities public facilities for the public they have given so many facilities we should not damage those like uh, they will burn the buses in the strikes so we should not do we should save those things we should make safeguard those public properties and give up violence Right. 